Hi folks, this is Benny Ho, the old stump bumper. Your host of the Southern Sportsman. Our show has been here for over 27 years on TV. We welcome you all to come along with the old stump bumper in search of exciting TV footage that is suited for the whole family. We'll show you how to catch them and how to put them in the boat. That was just a good spot. I get him, I break the ice. <laughs> First one of the day. You had that jig of hunting right there, didn't you? He was hunting, I see who I used. That's about the only thing I use really, that white hair. Oh, you got him. Let the, uh, let that green with it. Whoa, <laughs> he got second yeah. gear right there. He, he got second gear on me, did he, Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> Go on in to the house. Go on in here to the house. Come on, baby. Go on there, baby. That white hair. I like that white. Come on in here. Yeah. Let red, red uh, thread around its neck. But that, that represents his gill. Well, he's out there. I seen the white of him. Eating a bull, please. He's a good man. He's a good one. Come on to the house. Come on in there. Come on here to the house. I ain't that big. He's just mean. He's just mean. Yeah, he's a man. Eat it the man, Charlie. There you go, buddy. There you go, Charlie. Let's see what Wayne's shedding. Oh, yeah. See you boys up there at the restaurant? Y'all can hang around and drink coffee, and I'll go catch these boys. Hey, <laughs> 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 well, hey, Bill. Oh, God. Them boys up there, old Jimmy. There yeah, you go. Look at this good steaks in them. We's gonna eat one yeah. right there. Is the right size to that, eat. That's some good steaks right down through there, boy. Like eating good, good tarpon. There you go. We're gonna catch us a bigger one. Oh yeah, this that's a starter fish. Ain't that right, buddy? He said he'll see you later. I'm here with old Charlie Three. Catches more stripers. Blow watch bar and ten people put together. <laughs> <laughs> we try. Uh, you get your part of don't you, buddy? Yeah, we try. Last year I was with him. He's the only man I've ever been with. I've caught a 52 pounder here below the dam. And uh, we had a bunch of 40s and 30s that day, didn't we? We did. Catfish. I mean, you had us in there, God, with bun. If you didn't get a good stripper, you get a big blue cat. Right Everyone there, folks. Swim baits are good, swim baits are, but that right there, I've been using that rig for, oh, I guess 30 years. That's hard to beat right there, that combination. That red thread, you want that around his neck, it represents the gill. And then it, they like that chartreuse. You want to get another one? I want to. That's just a warm up, wasn't it? That was just the indicator, you know where they're at now. Yeah. Hey folks, this is Benny Hull. I've had my insurance with Flegel Insurance for over 40 years. They have been a great company to deal with. In 2017, they're celebrating their 100 years in business. Flegel Insurance represents over 20 carriers, and that's a great thing there, I believe. You've got a good choice of the companies you want to go with. They insure vehicles, boats, trailers, homes, life, or health insurance. Come see the great folks at Flegel. They're great people to deal with. Lisa's Golden Diamonds on the corner of Battlefield Parkway and Alamar Street invites you to come by and check out the Tri-State's largest inventory of platinum, yellow gold, white gold, and sterling silver for those birthdays, anniversaries, or any special occasions. Lisa's Golden Diamonds has all your favorite designs, beautiful diamonds and solitaires or clusters, and they're all at outstanding savings. Compare prices, quality, and selection, and you'll see why your friends and neighbors recommend Lisa's. That's Lisa's Golden Diamonds, corner of Battlefield Parkway and Alamar Street. Get in there and hunt. Get in there and hunt.
Charlie Three's the man to bring you on these biggots, I guarantee you. We hadn't been here 10 minutes and had two holes. <laughs> and this is, a, this is a horse right here now. He's got some big old shoulders on him. They talk about them bass held shoulders. Now, he's got shoulders. That might be one of them 20 pound smallmouth right there. Yeah, boy. We get them big old smallmouth here, don't we? <laughs> In the wintertime. We better not tell them bass fishermen. They'll be down here by the time with a drove. Come on in here, sweet <laughs> Come on in here, sweet Come on in here, sweet Come on in here, sweet yeah. I ain't seen him yet. He, he's coming though. He's coming. He's giving me some slack. <laughs> Come on, sweet lip. Come on. There he is. Yeah, he's yeah. yeah, buddy. He got some meat on him now. Uh, he got some meat on him, Charlie. Yeah, what kind of rope you got on there? That's 30 pound right there. What? That's a nice one. That's good to show you, buddy. Yeah, this is. Wayne Shad. That's a Wayne Shad now. I thought you wanted to throw a hole of Wayne up. Whoop. Uh oh. Took care. He just slipped right between your legs. No wonder. Look how big he is. <laughs> Look how big he is. No wonder he's dead. Hey, Pat, here's what we get when you're not with me. He gets them little ones. That's a good starter one right there for us. Yeah. I got an old fish buddy named Pat. I won't tell you his full name where people rub it in. But the other day, I was catching this and bigger, and he's catching him little. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it made him mad at me. <laughs> See there, buddy? I can't hold the whole count. I can't even hold him in the count. Let me hold him sideways. Let me get a picture of you. Let me hold him count. sideways here. There's a small map on that right now. What you get a workout on these big boys? Smile for the camera now. <laughs> Look at that now, that man, Charlie. Yep. There he is, Charlie. There he is. Holy. That's a mule there, buddy. <laughs> Got a mule. That's a mule. <laughs> uh oh. 
you. You're all right. Got a view right now. Uh, come on to daddy. <laughs> come on to the house. We're going to turn your back and get you another. Don't show them boys over on that boat. They're looking at you right now. Where are we on it? Sir, yeah, they're seeing what you're doing over here. Uh, oh, Lord. <laughs> They'll be over here sliding up the side of the boat. <laughs> That's the only thing about it, catching these things. People are watching them. Try to get right through the drill. They do, don't they? Yeah. I seen that one. That was pretty chunky. They pretty chunky. Yeah, he's a chunker. He's a chunker. That's good. a you chunker. Good, Charles. You good, my man. There you go. Charlie Bob, I can't even get him in the picture. He's so broad. <laughs> He's going to back up here a little bit. <laughs> Lord of mercy. Ah, uh, damn. Uh. He's a good 30, ain't he? Yeah. 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 Put him back, let him grow bigger. Let me have a picture before you turn him loose. That way I got proof. He got proof about the Mr. Shadden. Okay, Mr. Shadden. He's gonna be sick. I'm gonna rub it in on him, I tell you. He's gonna be sick. He is. Yes, you got rolling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just have to let him go the best way you can. <laughs> We'll find this a different way where we won't have them all set down. Come on, he don't want to bring that head up. This guy down them rocks, he don't want to come up. On the rock. On the rock. Don't they jump up right here somewhere? Yeah, right here below this white sign right here. That's when I start reeling in. Because it gets shallow right here. Yeah, right here, we just reel up and then go back up. All right. All right, doctor. That's all you gotta do. Just once you get on the bottom there, you're right on the dinner table. <laughs> we know they're hunting like this thing. By your reel, I get most of them down there here lately. Yeah, you're on the bottom. I tell you what, this is a lot of work in this kind of fish, but it's some fun, ain't it? Yeah, that's a lot of work. They show me it's fun to get a hold of them big, big, big ones. You know you got something on that rod. You can kind of tell when you get a hold of the big ones when you stay down on you. Yeah. We'll get a 40, 50 pound here before it's over. I hope so. He got a 50 here last week. He gets a more bigger rock fish than everybody I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know a few. He's been around the block, that's for sure. Been around, yeah. About 40 years, basically, man. Hello folks, I'm Carl Schultz, the General Manager at Sports Warehouse, inviting you to the warehouse. Come on in and see us. Best prices in town. Hey folks, this is Benny Hall, the old stump bumper. If you need anything for hunting or fishing or anything for camping and the outdoors, the Sportsman Warehouse is a place to come. They got it all right here. 
Come on down to the Sportsman's Warehouse. They can't be beat for all the good prices. Hey, you anglers out there, if you don't catch a big striper, come on down here with Charlie 3. He can put you on some big fish and have a great time. And in the fall and winter time, if you're a smallmouth fisherman, he can put you on the smallmouth bass. Charlie 3, he's a good buddy. Give Charlie a call for a great time on the water. Changing, don't they? Yeah. There he is. There he is. That's a, boy, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a mule right there. That's a mule. Golly, boy. Oh, man. It's all right. I'll turn the boat around. You think that's a, You think I'm home? I'm not, folks. I've got a mule on here. I'll turn the boat around for you. I got a mule on there, I'm not kidding you. I'm on the popper. Trying to cut your line. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what, this is a mule right here. It's getting you work out today. I'm getting away. <laughs> <laughs> this one here is getting me. He pulled hard enough. This better them. go on to 24-7 work unit. I do, yeah. <laughs> I guarantee you. Oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy. Come on to Papa. Come on to that's Papa. That's a good fish right there. Yeah, that rod bowed up. I mean, doubled up. That, that, that's a steel rod right there. He had that thing bowed up double. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in here. I'm pulling them right I tell you, he hard to get him off the bottom. <laughs> Uh, he's a boy log. He don't want to come up. Here he comes. Give me a little slack then. Give me a little slack. Hey, I'm coming up here, baby. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Got some stout. I'm you what, he's a mule, ain't he? I ain't even seen him yet. <laughs> there, look at that. I can't even pull that drag in my hand. Maybe that dip net's big enough. Yeah, Lord, he's just mean. Yeah. Oh, look how broad he is. Yeah. Lord have mercy. That is a blue right there, Dale. Knock that blue head there. That, a, yeah, he did. That is a mule. Look how thick he is. Yeah, he's something, ain't he? He swallowed Whew. it, too. I couldn't get him turned, I'll tell you. Folks, Charlie's going to show you the notching tight knot called the stump bumper knot. What you got there, Charlie? This right here is the stump bumper knot. Take your middle finger and you can do this with your eyes closed and you wrap it seven times. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come back through this right here, go back through the center right there and just hold that right there and just pull. And that right there's a stump bumper knot. You can do it with your eyes closed. There you go. That's our time at night. It's yeah. real simple. You use a lot out here, don't you? Yeah, if it's 30 pound of this line, it's a 30 pound knot. You don't you don't lose no strength or anything. That's brought to you by the Sportsman's Warehouse of Chattanooga. Although they've got many, many, many stores all over the country. Chattanooga's got a great one too. Give them a visit. Come on to the house. Come on to the house. That rainbow was just in there. You went in there and caught a video. Come on, baby. Come on, Papa. Come on, sweet little. Come on, sweet little. <laughs> I tell you, folks, you better not bring any light. 
or even my, or medium. I got a bull dog here, and he don't like it. He don't like it at all. <laughs> He's a monster. Hybrid. Don't worry, poor heart. Hybrid. He's a monster. He yeah. liked that little curly tail, didn't he? Yeah. Little hybrid. Yeah, he look good. Mm. Them patches on the tongue. Yeah, you got them patches, don't you? Yeah, you got them broken lines. You see how thick he is and wide? He don't get much longer, but he'll get big and wide. He'll be that wide. The hybrid. They're battlers, ain't they, Charlie? They are. They're battling. Well, Charlie, I'll tell you one thing, buddy. I've had a great time here today. Me too. And uh, been a lot of fun. Phyllis has really enjoyed it. She's told us when the camera's off, she didn't want everybody here today how much she enjoyed it. I know. Uh, and uh, just seeing them big old fish come in here, you know. Uh, you start dragging 30 and 35 pound fish and throw them in the boat, that gets her attention, don't it? It does. Everybody's attention. Yeah. But he can do that for you folks too. Uh, we'll have his name, and number, and uh, where you get in touch with you, and all that good stuff. I appreciate and, it. And uh, maybe he can help you out here some. He's one of the biggest guides anyway down here. I don't know when he's going to do it, but he he's going to guide some more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but if you want a, a good man that stays on the fish, that's what you got to do is get somebody that stays on me, and he does. He knows what they want. But uh, Charlie, that that, uh, that fascinated me where you changed. Uh, we was throwing jigs for a long time and it was doing fine, but he wanted to show off the live bait and he went to live bait. So you can get them two or three different ways. Yeah. But that uh, I guess that jig is my favorite. Mine too. Yeah, by far, but. You got more control on it. More control and you got a little tip or anything you want to pass along to our folks out there, buddy? Help what did you like the best today? Did you like the, uh, the shad or did you like the root beer color? Which one did you like the best? I like that shad. That shad, okay. Yeah. yeah. Most people like the root beer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be different on that. <laughs> uh, Lordy. But anyway, I think they'll hit anything when they're in there feeding, they'll hit anything. <laughs> yeah. What do they say? Keep your lines tight? Keep your lines tight. Yep. And pay attention, you'll get them. But uh, when they're in there, no sure, uh, sure enough, when they're in there feeding, you can catch them. I mean, it's just get it in the right place, and you'll learn not to hang so much. You got to get down on the bottom. Them fish, them fish like that bottom when it's still hot weather like this. And in winter time, like we come up here in the winter and, and in cold months, we catch them on top water, and that's a lot of fun, isn't it, buddy? Right. We wouldn't catch anything yeah. on jigs until you started telling them to hunt. Yeah. So they're in the hunt, and nice. they, they started hunting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we wound up probably 15, 16 nice fish. Made a good day, and we didn't even get out here. We hadn't been fishing probably three hours if that long. And we, we didn't get them in the water for about four o'clock. Then they just shut off. Yeah. We, we fished there for maybe two and a half hours, and then they shut off. But they're evening fish this time of year, and in the wintertime, we catch them all day long following the birds. We'll, we'll show you some uh, footage on uh, catching the stripers and the jumps. Uh, following the birds. That's some fun, isn't it? That's a lot of fun. Yeah. You just let the birds show you where they are and follow them around and diving. But uh, anyway, we appreciate you folks joining up with the old stump bumper and uh, my good friend here, Charlie Thiet. He's, he's kin to Mark Thiet and all that bunch of Thiets over here. To, uh, where's that little thing? Uh, Crossville. Crossville, Crossville. We and, originated uh, from Jamestown. Is that right? Yeah. Originated from Jamestown. That's amazing. But there's a mighty fine people over there, and all around the, all these river people are good people. Just, some of them get excited, they see a lot of fish caught, and they might get in your way a little bit, but they'll, they'll leave in a little while, they don't know what you're doing. But anyway, we appreciate it, folks. I like I said that, but again, we appreciate it. Thank you too, buddy. Yes, sir. It's been fun. Yes, sir.
Hey folks, this is Benny Ho, the old stump bumper, thanking you for watching the Southern Sportsman. We're on each week on channel 61, the Fox Network, at 6.30 a.m., as well on our website, BennyHull.net. And remember, make a boy or girl happy and take them hunting and fishing, and I'll see you on the water. And let's all fight against water pollution.